Hi, and welcome to Motor Sports Land. I'm Tom. Uh, today, I got a brand new floor plan to show you from Crossroads. This is a 280 RK, it's a rear kitchen. And I gotta tell you, based on last year, the rear kitchen is one of the hottest floor plans out there now, uh, mainly because of the, um, the counter space that you have, uh, all the extra room that you have in the kitchen. Really looking forward to showing you this one. Let's start right off the get-go here with the front door, okay? Um, probably one of the most overlooked areas on a trailer, honestly, but a lot of major improvements on the entry uh, over the years. But in the last couple of years, you notice the solid steps have really kind of come into play. Not every trailer has these, but if you got a sore knee or a bum ankle or whatever the case may be, uh, the nice thing about these solid steps is, is when you walk up in and out of the trailer, nothing is moving around. Uh, you know, like the steps that hang off the side, you're kind of bouncing around, right? Um, so very nice and solid. And you also have this nice uh, kind of a extra large assist handle on the way in. Okay, so you got something to hold on to on the way in. You got the solid steps, so you're never going to have to worry about that. Um, <clears throat> and also, the steps, that, and when you're not using them, you know, you're going to fold them up inside the trailer. Let me show you real quick. So what's the advantage there? Well, now it's winter time, right? Um, we're here in December, and a lot of people have kind of called it a year for camping. But there's still people out there camping, and there's really some cool places to go right now. But let's say that you're done for the year. You put your steps up inside, close the door. You don't have to worry about them until the next season. And for those of you that have had trailers before, you know how much fun it is to wrestle the stairs out after they've been in, tucked away and been snowed and rained on for the last six months. So really awesome advantage, great idea. They're super lightweight, they don't rust, and again, they're solid, okay? Put them down, you just click this little lever to the right, and you're back on the ground. Um, it also has the friction hinge door, okay? I'm a big fan of these because, you know, as a father of, you know, little kids, um, you know the plastic latches? Again, I'm going back to people that have had trailers before, but Traditionally, there's a latch here, a plastic latch. And when you latch it to your door, you know, obviously it holds your door open right there and it stays in that position. What happens more commonly than not is people grab the door to pull it and it breaks the latch. Okay, so what they came up with is this friction hinge door. This is super cool because the wind's not gonna blow that door open unless it's extremely powerful. And even at that rate, it's gonna be a really slow close. Okay, so it basically serves as a safety feature so if someone's reaching inside the door, the wind is not gonna blow that door shut on your hand, okay? So wonderful feature, you can keep it that distance with your screen shut, if the wind's blowing from this way, you can do whatever you want with the door. Okay, so next thing I wanna talk about is our awning, okay? Um, and I think you get the most out of a trailer like this with a really big awning and no slides on this side. So I refer to it as kind of like a naked side, right? There's nothing kind of intruding on your camp space, which I absolutely love. Um, huge awning, comes out eight feet, okay? It's all power and it's got the LED strip in there. Um, this is great uh, for ground lighting, especially if you're the type of campers that want to go out in places that you're not going to be around people because um, a lot of times this type of light's an afterthought. A little light on the outside is not going to be enough to light up your camp at night. These LED strips are crucial for people that do not want to camp in campgrounds. And even in campgrounds, it's pretty nice to use. Um, right here, we have the fresh water fill. So before you leave home, right? Or when you get there, depending on how your load and your travel and how far you're going, this is where you're gonna put your fresh water in, okay? Um, this one holds 51 gallons plus a six gallon hot water heater. Okay, so I'm not that good at math, but that sounds like about 57 gallons, guys. Okay, so 57 gallons there. You got uh, 44 black in this guy and 88 gray. And I must say that's one of the biggest gray tanks that I've ever heard of in relation to the water, the fresh water tank size. Why does that matter? Okay, well it matters because you can add more, but you can't necessarily take water out. Okay, I'm talking about dry camping or if you're not hooked up to a sewer. So, um, you're not, you know, if you go through, a, 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 you know, your first batch of fresh water, you could add another 30 gallons. That's reasonable. So it's nice to be able to be able to do that. Not a lot of trailers can do that. And again, 
I've no, I haven't seen very many where the, the gray tank is twice the, almost twice the size of the fresh. Okay, moving along. You got some receptacles here, okay? My daughter likes these because every time we go camping, we have to have our Christmas lights, okay? And she's in charge of the Christmas lights. We plug them in here. She usually does it around the awning, okay? Makes it super cool and homey. It feels like we're uh, on vacation. And you also have a little, uh, I like to call it a college fridge, right? Because I had one like this in college. Just enough to, you know, keep a couple drinks in, maybe some sandwiches or something on the outside, along with your two burner cooktop. This is a great place to set up your outdoor kitchen. Uh, obviously, this is an outdoor kitchen, but what I mean is, is a lot of us will travel with our barbecue grill or a flat top or a camp chef, something like that. This is a great place to designate, air, uh, designate that area for it. Um, it also has a liquid propane quick connect underneath. So if you do bring your camp chef, you plug it right in, you're ready to rock and roll. Um, power landing gear, guys. This is a really big deal. Whether you've been camping your whole life or you're just getting into this, okay? Who doesn't like pushing a button to get a, a task accomplished, okay? So all you do is you come on over. You can see that the legs are already down. They got nice big feet on them, okay? And you just push the button. And as soon as it touches the ground, it kind of gives you a little resistance and you're all done. I mean, it is one of the easiest things to use on a trailer. Um, okay, so the speakers that you see there, they are marine grade, okay? so. It doesn't matter if it's snowing, raining, or whatever the conditions are on the outside, well, they're completely fine. They're kind of like a boat grade speaker, right? Uh, also have the LED lid in there. You can see the blue backlit. Um, you know, that's nice if you don't want your awning light on, okay? But also it's very well lit in here. I'm sure if you're at the camp at night and you saw this set up, you'd be very impressed. It is so cool looking out here. Um, along with Zinger, uh, basically did this year a new graphics package. And I can tell you compared to the last model, I'm super impressed with it. Um, I love the colors on it. It's kind of like a flat color, so it'd be easy to keep clean. Uh, just really good looking. The, they also improved on the radial tires. Okay, and the inside, you guys are gonna love. I can't wait to show it to you. So let me just finish this walk on the other side here. We'll touch on a few more things and then I'll show you on the inside. Okay, so here's something that's very, very thoughtful that you may have not thought about, okay, when you're looking for a trailer, especially when you have little kids or even, you know, anyone for that matter. But um, these are hot areas on a trailer, okay? So when you take a shower, you take a hot shower, your hot water heater gets hot, okay? And when you turn on your heat, your furnace gets hot, okay? So both of these areas are hot. It's very thoughtful of the manufacturer to put it in this location because here's this is an area where people aren't hanging out, okay? Um, you'll notice that on a lot of other trailers, these are gonna be right on your awning side. So when you're leaning back in your chair and somebody takes a shower, you got a hot item right next to you if you have a child nearby. So it's a very, very thoughtful feature, um, safety feature, if you will, okay? Uh, it is backed with a ladder, and, and which is insane, oh, that makes it a walkable roof, essentially, right? It doesn't mean that you should go to the NASCAR race and sit up there and watch the race, okay? It means that you can climb up on the roof and make sure that everything looks right and tight, okay? Once, not, a, not every day or every camping trip, but maybe every three to six months. Get up there, have a look around your seals, okay? Your roof is a maintenance item. It does have a 12-year warranty on it, but it still requires a little input from you just to make sure you know, your seals look good, okay? <clears throat> Spare tire is the same one that's on the trailer, okay? So for whatever reason, you get a flat tire, you're not putting an inferior tire on the trailer and limping at home, you're gonna do the same thing you normally do and just drive like a normal uh, normal person there. Okay, um, place to put your sewer hose. The park has satellite TV and cable, you have it as well, okay? And this is where you're gonna plug it in. This is your 30 amp power cord there. Big slide on this guy, it's a big super slide. You're really gonna like what's on the inside, but I wanna touch on a couple more things here. And then the outdoor shower, I absolutely love, okay? And we already talked about the fresh water capacity of this thing, 51 gallons, but when my kids were little, we had this little, you know, Scooby-Doo pool. And uh, they would sit out here and wand themselves off, right? 
And then you can take the water and splash it away or let the dog sit in it or whatever. It's a wonderful tool to use, um, especially if the kids get super dirty, the, the bikes get super dirty. So whatever the case is, you have an area here, right? People aren't gonna be over here. Okay, so it's a great area to take advantage of keeping people and items clean, okay? And like I said, you can always add more water. This is a pretty important feature right here. And um, you know, I talk to people every day about RVs and I'd say about 50% of them have never heard of this. And um, it's becoming kind of more commonplace, but I want you all to take note. Caution, make sure when you see that, you stop yourself and think, okay? Because there's a lot of these receptacles on a trailer that look the same. And you don't want to plug something in the wrong area. So that's why they have them on the opposite sides of the trailer. The caution is a black tank flush, okay? So after you flush your tanks, you're at the park, you're at the, you know, the, um, uh, where you're dumping your tanks, uh, you're gonna plug a garden hose in here, okay? And that's gonna agitate the interior of the black tank. So it's got an orbital sprayer in there, right? Sprays it nice. And that's gonna make sure the debris and there's nothing on the sides. So when you go inside, you take your, you know, you push your black tank monitor to see where your levels are and it tells you it's two thirds full and you just emptied it. Well, obviously there's something in there blocking that, okay? So that's why this makes this so important because if you thought for one second you had two thirds full on your black tank, now you're, now you're not gonna wanna use it. You're gonna think it's full, okay? So very important thing to have. Not every trailer has that and you're definitely gonna want it, okay? This is your city water connection. So you go uh, camping, the campground has water provided at your camp spot, right? You're gonna have your hose to hook up to your trailer, okay? You're gonna make sure that you use a water regulator, okay? Because you never know the pressure of water that's coming from the park into your trailer. So that's the one thing to take note of, um, and that's where it's located, okay? Big pass-through, guys, right? Um, a lot of them, when you look in here, they end like right here on the opening. This goes back underneath the bed. Um, and it's nice and sealed, so air is not gonna come up through the trailer, okay? Uh, there's a light in there so you can see what you're doing, and the floor is the same finished floor that's on the inside. So really, really nicely done compartment there. Um, last thing, guys, well not last thing, but one of the last things I'll talk about on the outside that you can't see right now is under the trailer, okay? This is a fully sealed trailer, which means heated and enclosed underbelly. So when you turn the heat on on the inside, it's also forcing heat in that area, okay? That's what we refer to as Western Edition style trailers. And it also has the better insulation package, okay? So follow me. And um, really cool item. I have this on my boat, I love it. It's a battery disconnect, okay? The battery disconnect, when you turn it to the off position, kills all the power in the coach from the battery. Um, so if you left the radio on or you left the light on, don't even worry about it. Crank that off, you're good, okay? This one holds two tanks. You'll notice that these are the smaller of, you know, there's two sizes essentially that you can get, right? You can get the smallest or the largest, okay? The reason the manufacturer is gonna send you the small ones is because they're exchangeable. You can go to Walmart, you can exchange these and grab one, drop one off. If you get the large ones, they have to be filled at a propane filling station. So this depends on if you have that access. But it's whatever you want here, okay? Power tongue jack. You can see that the light's on. For those of you that are like me and show up at the campground in the dark, you can still see what you're doing. They're, they're thinking about us, all right? And uh, I, I thank them for that. Um, so power tongue jack with the light. Okay, last thing on the outside I'm gonna show you. Nice, beautiful flat front is the uh, solar, okay? This is a little Zamp solar spot right here for your solar panel, okay? And um, you should use that, okay? Th this is amazing. I'm glad they do that for us. It's All it is essentially is a direct connection to your batteries to keep them fresh and topped off when you have your solar panels out, okay? When you plug this type of panel in, okay, this is a ground panel that you just kind of open up like a book and face it towards the sun. Okay, there's some other ones available too, but that seems to be the most common one. Um, and then when you go back to the coach at the end of the day, batteries are fully topped off. It is an absolute awesome thing to have, especially if you're an off the grid type of person, and you're not gonna be plugged in, you're not gonna be around people, okay? So take advantage of that. Okay, well that concludes the outside of the uh, 2021 
Crossroads Zinger 280RK. Come on inside, let me show you what we got going on there. Okay guys, so now we're inside uh, the new 2021 20, Zinger. And uh, I gotta tell you, this is one of those trailers to me that has the nicest color palette. It's the easiest on the eyes when you walk in. And women really like this one too, okay? Because they're looking at this through a different lens than guys. And you know, if you went down, if you went around and looked at like new build construction in 2020, this is the type of color palette that you should expect. So a little softer, right? The medium grays with the driftwood. This one has the two rockers. If you're looking for like a rear entertainment or a rear living, right? This rear kitchen has a lot of those features, right? And the recliners is one of those features that I think a lot of people are looking for in those models. The rear kitchen has just kind of incorporated these recliners with a table in the middle. Really awesome at the end of the day. You got to think about this, guys. You're on vacation. How, what is your comfort level? What's your comfort level at home? Or are you planning on like going down in comfort level when you go camping? Or do you want to keep maintain, you know, that same comfort when you go camping? This is going to provide that, okay? You are not taking one for the team. When you go camping, and this is the type of furniture you have on the inside. I mean, it is exceptional. And I would put this in my home. I'm not even, I'm not even kidding. Um, the texture on the new chairs is different than last year and the year before and here's why we all know about these couches and chairs like these pleather looking couches and chairs they look cool okay a little shiny looking but when you sit on them all you do is slide all over the place okay these are textured it, it holds you on to your clothes better it's way more comfortable guys way more comfortable so two recliners right here okay awesome and then what rear kitchens are known for our counter space because this is probably I shouldn't say probably this is the most requested item that people wish they had more of okay it's never that they wanted a bigger couch or a bigger dinette it's always counter space because we forget when we go camping how many things that we're gonna put out here guys and food prep and all that kind of stuff uh, how about your um, toaster how about your coffee pot? How about your flat top? I don't know what you guys do, but I use all that stuff. And I can tell you right now, I'm gonna use a lot of this counter space. Um, Undermounted stainless sink with the stainless high rise, faucet, high rise faucet. I mean, I don't know what you guys have at home, but that's pretty much what people are putting in their homes these days. Um, you got a window behind the sink here. You can see what people are doing. The kids are out playing. Um, you can watch the weather roll in, whatever, while you're doing stuff inside. Um, they have this obscured privacy glass for the cabinets, what I just think is awesome. Uh, it just looks really good and kind of makes it kind of give it a decorative feel to it. Uh, really nice looking hardware. I mean, this is stuff I would pick out myself. Okay, and that's why I always, when I come in Zinger, I know that people are going to appreciate um, the length that they've gone to on the interior of these. Uh, it's not traditional anymore. Okay, so I got a microwave up top. You got your hood. How about this little cool little light they do with the stove? Just looks nice, you know, little accent lighting. If you don't want all these lights on overhead, okay. Um, eight cubic fridge, okay. It's a two-way fridge. And then you have, of course, your pantry here on the right-hand side. Plenty of room. Very deep, guys. I'm a pretty tall guy, but, you know, that deep, you can put a lot of food in there, okay. Okay, so behind me here, we're looking at a big super slide, right? This is a 13-footer. And um, I can tell you, when I go camping, the most fun thing about camping to me is when everyone's together, kind of hanging out at the end of the day and catching up and talking, discussing what we did today or what we're going to do tomorrow. Look at the seating, guys. You're all together. Everybody's together in here. It's awesome. Um, you got a U-shaped dinette. In 2020, right? I would say that when people came in and I said, hey, what's the main couple things you think you've got to have in your trailer? The U-shaped dinette literally came out of everyone's mouth, okay? It makes a lot of sense to have a U-shaped dinette because you can sit more people around it, you can cap it on the end, you can play cards, you can sleep on it, and it also has storage underneath. 
okay, both sides. And the storage underneath of these, I know that this is not easy necessarily to get to. You get on your hands and knees and reach all the way back in there. If you have like rain gear and boots and stuff that you may not need, you know, all the time, not a bad place to use it for. Okay. And then you got the jackknife sofa, really good looking, right? It's got the armrest, cup holder, these really good looking soft blinds, guys. No one can see through these. And you gotta remember the, 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 the trailer's already tented on the outside. Okay, so it's not like people can see in here to begin with, but with the blinds, I mean, you're literally blacked out from outside. Okay, so ducted heat, as you can see, and ducted AC. Um, swing on over here, Zach, let me show you this one. Okay. You're gonna notice this doesn't have a TV on board, but I, what I would tell you is, is TVs don't really, they're not expensive anymore. And the type of TV that an RV manufacturer is gonna put in probably isn't what you had in mind to begin with. Um, smart TVs have taken over, okay? Um, so when you go to a campground they have Wi-Fi and you have your smart TV, you have all the same stuff that you had at home. So don't worry about the TVs not being here. Get the TV that you want and make it compatible to what you want it to do for you when you're camping. Some people don't even care about TVs, they'll put a painting here. It's completely up to you and they're gonna leave that up to you, up to your discretion. Uh, it does have um, surround sound slash radio, okay, connectivity. Okay, you can pair up to five phones on that guy. Pretty cool. Fireplace, okay. Um, <clears throat> Here we are, we're in December. This is when you use stuff like this, but the cool thing about this type of fireplace is it doesn't have to be cold out for you to appreciate and enjoy you know, the, the, the ambiance, if you will. Um, because you can have it with heat or without, it runs on battery, I mean electric, okay? So you're not gonna use propane or battery and waste energy with this guy. You're gonna be plugged in for using a generator. Okay, last thing uh, on the galley here, did you guys see the underlit lighting uh, under the counter here, Zach? I don't know if you can get that. And then that, and then over here. So I guess, you know, at nighttime settings, depending on how much overhead light you appreciate, there's a lot of backlit lighting in here, guys. Super cool, it's very comfortable. Um, I love it, I think it's super cool. I hope you do too. Let me show you the bedroom. Okay guys, come on in. This is the bedroom and it's got two wardrobes, one for each. So like I say, usually, honestly, in my trailer, it'd be hers and hers, okay? Well, let's just say that it was his and hers, okay? You guys both have your own hanging wardrobe, plenty of room in there. You're camping, guys, okay? That's typically all you're gonna need. Um, and then you got some overhead shelving. You'll put a couple books up there, put your phones up there, whatever you wanna do. USB on that side and power outlets. And then you have outlets on this side as well. Plenty of room over here, guys, to put stuff on. You like going to sleep with an algae next to you or something to drink, uh, CPAP, whatever you have, plenty of room here to do it, okay? There's also wired in here for a television, so do you wanna add one? Hey, you know something else too? If you guys have been out looking at trailers and campers and stuff, right? You'll notice that a lot of these manufacturers don't even build the doors to fit the doorway. I mean, it's the weirdest thing. You'll go in there and there'll be like that much space over the door and this much space over the door. And I don't, I don't know. Uh, these are basically customized to fit into the door. Okay. Now here's the bathroom. Um, definitely don't want to overlook this because this is not the norm for a bathroom to have this type of uh, space in here and storage, but look at this. I mean, this is ridiculous, okay? Plenty of room for linens and extra towels, uh, whatever you need, to, extra even for your bedroom, right? Plenty of room there. Radius shower, okay? I'm 6'3", okay? And I can pretty much stand straight up in here. Obviously, I'm, you know, I want an office. I want to get down a little bit. There is a fan in here, an exhaust fan, and it's got the radius doors. Just really good looking. Nice and easy to use. Very solid floor plan or a floor pan. 
I'll clean that up, Zach, sorry. Um, and then you got a little cabinet there, and you got a mirrored medicine cabinet. I know it's hard to see that. All right. Porcelain foot pl uh, flush toilet there. All right. And I don't know if you can see this. This is kind of a weird angle, but just your uh, slide in button, okay? Your awning, your power awning, your water pump, water heater, uh, your fireplace switch, and your thermostat, all centrally located in the middle, okay? Well, that concludes my uh, walkthrough video here on the new Zinger, the 280RK. And I gotta tell you, you know, like we opened, now you had a chance to see it. I think you'd agree that this floor plan just works for so many different types of families. Uh, comfortable, roomy, but just really, really good looking. Um, my walk-in trailer is even a couple years ago. But sometimes I walk in and I'm just like, wow, I don't know how anyone could get excited about this. They have turned the page as far as interior decor, guys. One of the most beautiful interiors you will see on a mid-level travel trailer out there. Thank you so much for watching this video. I look forward to next time. Have a good day.